Uh, basically one day, uh, they decided to, uh, basically Adam said, uh, hey, hun, you can go ahead and get a BBC by this guy. And um, that's True. pretty much what happened. And uh, uh, thoughts, Andrew? Well, I think I- he ain't paying all them bills. He can't say nothing. OK, nothing, because he's just a roommate. OK, so you as a woman, if you're married, single, whatever, if your man is not paying every bill in that house, do whatever you want. OK, he don't run nothing up in there. OK, just so you know, unless he's paying every single bill and every one of your bills, he doesn't run anything. Stop caring so much. If he doesn't like you wearing a certain thing, put that thing on and walk out. If he doesn't like you wearing weave and makeup, put the weave and makeup on and walk out. If he don't like you getting nails done this long or with like red nail polish on it, get your nails red and long. If he doesn't like you uh, wearing certain types of clothing or shoes, put them on. Walk around and like you don't run nothing over here. OK, I don't like when you do A, B, C and D. So I guess it's OK because you do it. I don't like. So I'm going to do exactly what you don't like. I'm going to walk around here looking like this and these heels and this dress and this makeup and this hair and these nails. And guess what? I have to go have dinner with my friend, uh, my sister. I'll be back. Oh, you know, text me later. Then don't answer nothing. Just walk out. Where are you going? Oh, no, it's just girls. Oh, it's just business. Or, oh, it's just family. You can't come, basically. Understand one thing. If a woman is going to be horrible and bad and going to disrespect you, guys, you have to cut her out of your life. That is why it's so important to have an abundance mindset. Why? Because when you're dealing with a woman and you're trying to lead her in the right direction, but she's not willing to lead. She's not willing to let you lead or she's not adhering to your boundaries. She's overstepping your boundaries. Listen to her. She's saying, "Do if he's not paying your bills, do whatever you want. Let your woman do whatever she wants. Guys, let me tell you this. If you're dealing with a woman and she's doing things that is constantly undermining your authority and she's walking all over your boundaries, guys, you have to cut that woman off. Guys, women will walk all over your boundaries if you let them. What do you feel about the way your girl is dressed right now? <laughs> right now? <laughs> We're all mature enough to know that at this point in our life, bro, women's woman gonna have some titties, bro. So it's like, what? so you don't care about the fact that I visibly can see that her nipples are pierced? Yeah. <laughs> Me, I mean, I would say that I don't really care because it's like, if I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to be honest, hey, part of the attraction for me initially was that. How would you feel if he wanted you to wear something different? Uh, I probably, I mean, it depends. If he was like, nah, I just don't want your nipples showing. I don't know. You want a bad bitch? You better commit yeah, to a bad bitch, exactly. period. Yeah, I think that if, if it's something like, it would be... It would be one thing if I came into the relationship like, you and know, I she wasn't would, a bad bitch. and she was like, you know, not showing that stuff. And then all of a sudden one day she starts showing it, yeah, but, that's it's, different. but it's nothing new to me is what I'm yeah. saying. It's like I came into it. I knew what I was signing up for. Yeah. This guy understands in his mind that he is punching above his belt. He is dating a woman that he thinks is above him. That is why he is not setting boundaries with her. You can clearly see that she is the one leading that relationship. He has zero boundaries. She can do whatever she wants. Guys, listen to me. This is why I tell you guys that you must have an abundance mindset because you don't want to be in a position like this. You don't want to be in a relationship with a girl where she's doing whatever she wants, whatever she wants. She's, she's, she's basically making you look like a dummy and you're just letting her do it. Why? Because you have that inner fear that you cannot get another one you cannot replace her and trust me women know this if you're in a relationship with a woman where she she can she can see that you are afraid to lose her she will misbehave how much you mash probably she's oh hmm? she's what i, I that. will knock you the fuck out that's the dumbest <laughs> stuff that you've ever said what did he what did he say i don't know what he said. she's thinner I didn't, I'm, that's the party. Dumb. I'm the wrong fucking person i didn't say you were fat though that's besides the point what a mad thing to say what? Oh. 
Yo, this is where left hey, real quick. Real 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 left. Sorry. Cause Anything me. that you said that wild. You said because she's skinnier, you would fuck her. But you I like you black girls because you like their body, but they are more curvier. Do you like curves or you don't? No offense. You you Jordan. I know Jordan has curves, but she also has a skinnier, a lot skinnier frame than me. Yeah. She don't have no titties. She has a little booty. That's really my really? friend. That's my friend. Oh. That's why I say I have a body like a 12 year old. I've been saying this. I understand. I don't think I'm curvy at all. But going off what Jordan said with a body of a 12 year old, that's the kind of girl that you like 12 year olds. Women can have standards, but as soon as a man has standards, women get mad. Isn't that funny? She was so buttered by the fact that he wanted a skinny chick that she was willing to throw her friend under the bus. Throw her own friend. This is her best friend under the bus. Guys, listen to me. Listen to me clearly. You have to have standards. It doesn't matter if the woman feels hurt. You have to have that. Guys, if you like, hey, some guys like big women. That's fine. But if you like skinny chicks, like skinny chicks. Because if a girl likes a six, six, six foot five guy, we can't stop her. She's gonna like a six foot guy. If a guy, if if a girl likes a only white dudes, she only likes white dudes. If a girl only likes black guys, she only likes black guys. There's nothing you can do about it. So guys, if you have a preference, shout it loud and clear, loud and clearly. That's your preference, and you are within your right to have a preference. So, Adam, if you don't, I'm oh, sorry, uh, Andrew, what happened was this, uh, this I don't know, yeah, I don't know if you heard, uh, Andrew, they, they did a video, um, basically, Adam and them, they're married, they're, you know, they're, they've been married for a while, they have a beautiful family, um, and uh, basically one day, uh, they decided to, uh, basically, Adam said, uh, hey, hun, you can go ahead and get a BBC by this guy, and um, that's True. pretty much what happened, and uh, uh, thoughts, Andrew? Well, I think I mentioned this on one of my previous podcasts. I said that I wouldn't personally do that. Bro. But it's not my personal preference. But I want to make something clear. I, 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 I'm really careful about what I say to people. I don't want to insult anybody. That's not who I am as a person. If that's their personal decision to make, then they can make their own personal decisions and do as they please. I'm not here to sit and say they shouldn't do it. All I can say is that I wouldn't personally do that. That's not something I would allow my woman to do. So I'm not here to judge you or your life. I can just say that it's not something I would personally do. Well, if you feel like you have no emotional attachment to the guy, I think that's a good thing. I think your sure heart should be in one place. Andrew, and you've... Okay. Right, so your brother Tristan was in my DMs like really sincerely trying to convince me that I had made a very grave error, a, a massive mistake as a result of having let my wife shoot with another man. Myself personally having been, you know, a couple weeks removed from the actual incident happening, I don't really feel like I made a mistake. It feels like some pretty regular porn WT shit. In the chat, man. You know, I was a little bit jealous at first. It's kind of a weird feeling knowing that your your woman was in the arms of another man, even if it was uh, only for a few hours. But it's interesting. You don't seem like you have as much of a a real like moral issue with with Yo. the act itself. Oh. Well, I can give you my opinion on why I wouldn't ever do it, and I think the reason I wouldn't ever do it is because I believe that a man and a woman have a connection between them, and I think that connection is solidified by sexual exclusivity from the female's part, and I believe there's an energy cord between. And I think that once that's broken with another man, I do believe there's a degree of the connection which is damaged. And I think that when the relationship is good, perhaps you will not feel it, but when the relationship is bad, or when arguments start to happen, or you start to get on each other's nerves, you might notice a slight difference in behavior because I do also think that once the seal has been broken, I'll give you an example. The four minute mile was impossible to achieve, they believed, until one man ran the four minute mile and then a bunch of people ran the four minute mile. So once the seal's been broken, for example, let's say your wife's sleeping with another man, the idea of sleeping with another man is not as intimidating as it was one, once was. And perhaps the idea of sitting through an argument or sitting through a rough patch in a relationship and continue to try to work it out as opposed to just jumping on a new man, it might be less appealing than it once was previously. So I believe personally, if my woman had already slept with another man, she's more likely to just give up on the relationship and sleep with another man again in a rough patch. You That's my personal view. Facts, chat. Just like he said, there's no judgment. Like Tate said, me personally, I wouldn't let my wife do that. If Adam wants to do that, if Adam wants to let his wife do that, that's fine. That's their relationship. But I, I will tell you this. I don't think your woman 
loves you, if she is okay sleeping with another man while she is in a monogamous, quote-unquote monogamous relationship with you. To me, I don't think your woman can truly love you if she is out there sleeping with other men while she's in a monogamous relationship with you. Your woman can find other guys attractive, that's fine. But to actually go out and have sex with other guys while in a monogamous, guys, there is no love in that relationship. Again, like Tate said, I wouldn't do it. I don't judge them for doing it. People, guys, people have their own proclivities. But I will tell you this. I don't think any man that wants a loving relationship should allow his his woman to be doing what Adam22 let his wife do. Guys, that is the video for today. If you have not already, guys, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, please do not forget to hit this video with a like. It really helps the channel grow. With that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.